In this video, we're going to discuss two popular styles of rugs and materials and how to properly maintain them. My name is Nick Daniels. I've worked for Furniture Fair for 17 years, currently helping in our customer care department. In this video, we'll be discussing the issues that can happen to a rug, how to properly maintain a wool rug, how to properly maintain a synthetic rug, the importance of a rug pad, and where to go if you have additional questions. Rugs are a great way to protect your floor, add a splash of color. It can be almost like art for the ground. However, because we put it in rooms that often see a lot of traffic, it can accumulate dirt and stains and be susceptible to accidents in our home. Knowing what type of rug you have will help determine how difficult it can be to help maintain, prevent, and remove dirt and stains from your rug. There are many different types of rugs out there. Most common are wool rugs um, or natural fiber rugs, sometimes jute, things like that, or synthetic rugs such as olefin or polypropylene. We'll primarily be focusing on the care for these two types of rugs. Oftentimes when people get a new natural fiber rug, they overreact to the pills or loose fibers that start coming off of it. In the first year, that is unfortunately normal. Oftentimes we've, we've had it in the store where a, a rug starts shedding when it first hits the floor. People react, oh my gosh, who's gonna buy that? And shortly after that, it, it sheds those initial loose fibers and we have a beautiful rug for long to come. With natural fiber rugs, you have to remember that each fiber has a beginning and an end that's woven into the rug. And whether it's looped or cut, hand woven or power loomed, you have to care for that natural fiber a little bit differently than a synthetic product. It can't handle harsh chemicals, detergents, carpet cleaners, or things like that that you may use on a synthetic rug or our clothes or carpet. You're gonna wanna use more gentle forms of cleaning. You don't wanna use a hot steam cleaner or something like that on, on a wool rug. Some of the natural materials in the wool, such as lanolin, which helps the rug prevent accumulating dirt and, and things like that as well. Natural fiber rugs don't have quite the level of protection against stains that a synthetic would have. There are specific natural material type cleaners, such as wool light on a wool rug, that I would recommend if you have a stain. But keep in mind, the rug can get very heavy. It does absorb moisture very, very quickly. And I wouldn't recommend doing it before company comes over because it does absorb it so much, it does take a while to dry out. On a wool rug, it's important to be gentle. So. If you're gonna vacuum it, I would recommend taking the beater bar off, especially if you have a fringed edge to the rug, but taking the beater bar off will help prevent the vacuum from beating up those loose fibers and creating more pilling and more mess of loose fibers throughout your home. Your options for carrying and cleaning on a synthetic rug like polypropylene are a little bit bigger. Synthetics like polypropylene don't have a natural end unless we choose to have the fibers end in the rug to create kind of a fuzzy outside, we don't, we don't have a worry about that fiber coming loose, which means you can take these rugs outside and hose them down with a, the hose to help get dirt out. Drying a synthetic rug takes significantly less time. It, it doesn't absorb the moisture quite like the wool rugs do. So you leave it out in the sun for, for even 20 to 30 minutes, it's, it'll dry out very quickly. Because you don't have to worry about shrinking or loose fibers or uh, the color changing as much, you can use the beater bar on your vacuum, you can use carpet cleaners, um, hot water extraction or steam cleaning are all options on synthetic rugs, which might be all the more important because you may have to clean it a little more often since it is more susceptible to showing dirt and wear than the natural fiber rugs. When it comes to maintaining and getting the most out of a rug and your flooring, a rug pad is a, is a very key element to that. With a synthetic rug, you'll immediately notice the comfort level gets much better. It also protects the flooring. Often rugs have harsh backings or even just the fibers themselves that can be rough on carpet or hardwood flooring, creating rough spots. So you wanna protect your flooring with a nice rug pad. There are different types of rug pads for different types of floors. Furniture Fair does offer a nice all-in-one for carpet and hardwood. Um, we also offer carpet specific ones. A lot of people overlook the rug pad when it comes to carpet, 
but the rug pad A can help it be a lot more comfortable. And also when you set furniture on it, it can help prevent the waving or permanent folding in the rugs. If you feel your rug is no longer the right style for your room or is beyond the, the scope of care and you're looking to replace it, feel free to schedule an appointment with one of our furniture specialists. Each furniture fair location has a, at least one rug rack and dozens of rugs in the showroom for you to look at, as well as catalogs with alternate colors and styles that we can order. That's freaking getting nerdy with rugs.